This video is going to walk you through how to make a 3D apple using Animator. So first I need to go over here, click the line tool, and I'm going to make a spline. So click in the, on the y-axis, make something that looks about like this. This is the basic shape I want. Then you go to build, lathe, make it six sides, have it wrap around the y-axis, click OK, and we have this basic shape right here. Okay. And now we can go ahead and delete the original spline that we made. And so, so to do that, make sure the line tool is still selected. Click on, click on the the spline, and press delete in the keyboard. And let me show you what it, what it looks like if I move it out of the way. See, here's the original spline. If you press delete on the keyboard, it goes away. So let's go back to the front view. Use the selection tool. Click on the object, and now go up to build again. And this time we're going to click on convert to subdivided. And it made it pretty nice and smooth. Let's check it out. Not too bad. Kind of looks like an apple. Let's go back to front view. And we could have used build and subdivide faces and done that a couple times. We'd have gotten a similar uh, effect. But I'm going to show you why I used convert to subdivided on this one. If we go over to uh, the point uh, edit tool over here. Now you can still access the original outline, the original points and lines. Why that is important is because we're going to move some of them. All right, so I use arc rotate to rotate it. And when you use arc rotate, you have to turn it back off before you can edit anything. So uh, let's go over, I want the selected this is just right. So if I go around, uh, now if I just left click on points, I can only do one at a time. But if I click on every other and then I right click on it, I can select as many as I want. Uh, so I've selected those three. I'm going to go back to the front view and now I'm going to use the down arrow and go down a little bit here until I think it looks good. See how the bottom looks. That's about the look I want to go for. Cool. Front view, turn arc rotate off, and now I can go back to the object edit mode and you can see the bottom of my apple. There's a nice curve to it. I could have maybe done a little bit more, but uh that's good enough. Alright, so there's the apple. Now we're gonna make the stem. Keep going back to front view. Um, now I can either move the apple down, or the other option is you can go, you can select the object, go to edit, and then hide. With that hidden, now I have a bunch of free, sa uh, free space to make the stem. So I'm going to use this tool right here. Click. It's kind of the object I want, and then you can still mess with it and get everything just how you want. It's kind of up to you. Uh, let's say that's the look I'm going for. Then what I want to do is go to build and use the lathe tool again. And I can keep it at six sides, that's fine. And I'm going to keep it like this. I'm not going to smooth it out at all. But I am going to delete this line. So I click the line. Oh, actually, I want to keep it on this tool right here. And once I select it, press delete on the keyboard, and it's gone. But I don't want a straight stem. I want to curve it. So we're going to use this warp modifier tool. So I click on the bottom, drag up, and I'm going to choose bend. Click OK. Uh, and now I need to select both these items at once. Uh, I can either use the drag select tool 
uh, or since I only have two objects showing, I can actually use edit in select all, and it selects both of these. And then I go to build, modifiers, I bind them together. Oops, I must have more than one object selected. So and I'm going to click back off. I'm going to use the warp modifier. And the warp modifier kind of looks goofy when I use it. I'm on a Windows 8 machine, and Animator was built for XP, I think. So some of the tools don't work perfectly, but it still worked. It selected both of them. And let's see if that works. So go to build, uh, modifiers, bind them. So that worked. I'm going to double click on it, and let's make the angle 80 degrees. See how that looks. Okay, I like the bend. Now I could double click and change it if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted it at 70. It changes it. So I like it, that was good. I'm going to go to Build, Modifiers, and Effect Modifier. Uh, and that will finish it off. I could unbind them uh, if I want to start over. But I'm going to click Effect because I want to finish it. There's a nice bend. Now I need to go to Edit and show all. And here's the apple. So I'm going to select the stem. I'm just going to use the down arrow and move it down. Uh, I could also use the mouse and move it down, but there we go. Here's the stem and let's use arc rotate again. To, yeah, it looks fairly centered, so I like it. Now we need to add some color. so. I'm going to use the materials tool and uh, pick some sort of brown. And you know, like a green or a red, I suppose. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I need to select the apple first. Then apply. Let's see what a red one looks like. All right, I'm going to stick with red. Now, if you want to make the apple a little smoother, what you could do. Is select the apple, go to build, and we can subdivide faces, but first I think we have to convert to a mesh. Then we go to build and subdivide faces, then click OK, it's a little smoother. I can do it again, and it's smoother yet. And you can see how many faces I, I have now. Quite a bit. So smooth it out a lot, and then if we wanted to, we could select edit, select all, go to build, and group them. So you're making it one object. So now I can do things like uh, copy it and make multiple apples. Uh, so you can make a full bowl of apples if you wanted to. Uh, you could also do things like scale make the whole thing larger so that way if you're going to send it as an image like if you go to render render image let's make it a lot bigger let's make it 800 by 600 that way you have, you have a bigger uh, apple to start with so there you have it there's your apple uh, let me know if you have any questions take care